Hello and welcome to Infinity. There's a number of adjustments you can make to an image as here we've done some of these and we look at some more at another time. But there's another thing I want to look at today, which is if you go up here, there's filters. And filters, when you click on that, they looks like a few, but as you go down each of these is full of lots of other ones as well. And as with many of these tools, you end up you use only a few. I, I literally own a few of these. So let's just for a moment look at blur. We'll do something useful with it. Lots of different blurs here. Some of them use occasionally. They're very specific things. But by far and away, the most common blur we use is the Gaussian blur, named after a German mathematician chap. And it, very simply, you've got one control here. And as you turn it up, it blurs and then it takes away. Sometimes you want to blur the whole picture, but sometimes you don't. So we're going to use something we did not long ago. So I'm just going to cancel that and go to here, which is the selection brush tool. And I make sure I've got snap to edges up here and soft edge. Though actually the soft edge doesn't mind too much. And I'm going to select the foreground because what we're going to do is we're going to select this person at the front here and the things that are at the front, including the dog. And then I'm going to Alt click, which is a way of doing subtract. So Alt add, no, it does it backwards to get closer to the edge of this, to remove some of those things which are sticking out. And I'm going to get that stuff here because what I'm going to do is select the background and then blur just that. And that's what you, we often get and in pictures, you get the background out, out of focus. But you've got problems with things like hair and stuff like this here. So how do you handle that? And the answer is, as we've done before, refine. So if I click on refine here, then this, the red bit here is where I've not selected. What you can see is where it is selected. You can see the rough bits around here. So I use right square bracket to increase the size of the brush and then paint just around the edges here. Do a little bit at a time and see if it can work it out. And that's certainly improved that there. Around here, particularly around the hair, hair is terrible for this kind of thing. As long as you've got a clear background, it's generally pretty good at what it can do. And you can see you just paint over areas there going, I want that to be, just rethink that. Um, and if there are areas in here which you're going, I think that sh it's missed it there. I can say for click on foreground here and just one click there. And that says that's the foreground in here. In other words, this is the stuff I want to keep. Then I'll go back to the mat, which means please can you figure this one out? So this is OK. And uh, let's just go down here to see whether you can have another little think about it. And I'll just carry on around the dog and the table there. See, there's fairly rough edges originally. You're just telling it where the edges are. There you go. That's much better. And then when we're done, we click apply. And this is now selected the foreground, but I want to blur the background. So I want the, the other stuff to be selected. I want to select the background. And the simple way to do that is go to select and then invert pixel selection and you can use control shift i if i click on that the line around the edge here doesn't change but the one round here does so now i can do a blur and it will only blur within the selected area so i go filters blur and gaussian blur and now when i click do the radius change here the it blurs if you go all the way that looks unrealistic so you've got to take that into mind. So we go up till it blurs and it looks like it was the sort of thing that happened in camera. OK, that's probably about it. Then click apply. And then I can select. Deselect or control D to get rid of the marching ants. And there we go. We got the background is blurred and blurred background usually means it, it, the, the eye doesn't go to blur things. That's what we do is that the eye goes to things which are sharper. So. We've got this here and our picture is somewhat improved. So there we go. That was a useful thing you can do.
and we've done a bit of blurring. So thank you very much for watching.